The Eiffel Tower is split in two, and this is a tool to reach the parallel world. As the rocket rises, the robots are once again in pursuit. They try to enter through the window, preventing them from returning to the parallel world. Athena doesn't panic in the face of the robot threat. As the rocket lifts off, the robot is thrown off. The rocket rises into space at breakneck speed, then turns around and heads for Earth. As the speed increases, a time portal appears, and the rocket instantly travels to a parallel world. However, the desolate scene in front of her is completely different from the first time Kathy saw it. Walker takes out a bomb and gives it to Athena, telling her to be careful of David, the leader of this place. Suddenly, a flying machine arrives, and David comes out from it. It takes them to the time tower, where Walker's time machine is kept. Kathy turns the machine, and the world ends before her eyes, just as she saw it at Walker's house. The earth is destroyed by nuclear bombs. The land is dry, the glaciers are melting, famine and floods are pushing the human race to the brink of extinction. And all of this is 58 days from now.